today I finally received the fuel pump after about two weeks because I'm not gonna say any names <clears throat> speedway um, but I ordered the uh, the pump and got it a week later when it's supposed to be two day shipping which is bull crap if I want to pay that much for shipping you know you think you'd get it on time but anyways I get on the, the I get back home and there's this big old box and I thought there's no way they shipped it around. I open it up and it's a dude's dipstick tube. So then they send me out another one. I get a phone call just the other day. This guy told me that he'd got my fuel pump because it had my packing slip with my number and all that on it. And as it turns out, they screwed up everyone's order and sent somebody, because that one guy ordered it, some Dyna blanket. So the blanket went someone else. The guy got my fuel pump, and I got the guy's dipstick. You'd think it would have been a Friday for us to wear it. But finally, after two weeks, you know, you think Speedway would make that up, but they don't obviously don't care, so I won't be doing no more business with them. But I got this fuel pump finally, and went and dug that out of my off one of my motors that I'd taken apart. I got like two or three of them laying around. Probably not going to use the metal line, but... I just want this strap, basically. But anyways, this one has a return line built into the pump. I figured out. Factory one down. Well, this ain't the factory one. This factory style does not have that. No, nor does any of my other fuel pumps. But I'll just hook it out from there and run it to the return line right there. And then I can plug it off. But really, return line is a good thing to have. Helps with vapor lock and all that. And then I'm gonna take all this fuel line and stuff off. And I got some still braiding to go back on it. That way, because I know they're trip about that at the Nolan Nationals, they want still braided fuel line. If it's over whatever length, even though this is a factory configuration. But you know, it is what it is. If they want still braid, I already got some, so might as well throw it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh rubber hose here loose and disconnect all that and probably go ahead and take my fuel pump off just a half inch and i will put this on tomorrow afternoon because i'm gonna have to run to the parts store and buy barb fittings two three eighths ones and a five sixteenths for the return it is day two now and i went to the parts store and bought these fittings for the fuel pump three eighths fuel line um, this one's a 5 sixteenths, and the 5 sixteenths is going to hit the engine block unless I cut it down or get one that's got an angle on it. So I'm going to think on that one. I might just cut it down because, I mean, it's been need to be cut about halfway there and it would work. Or I can just do the right thing and uh, try and find an angled one but they didn't have any in stock down there well, to get it to stop hitting i had to trim it down a little bit i mean it's a decent bit but i'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down on it um, and always put an angle fitting on it later or just get me a vent tube fuel filter which i already got one i'll just plug that fuel bump off if i decide to i just figured it'd be easier to get filters that way i just walk in a store get this one and walk out Went ahead and took some air and blew through the return line because it's been a while since it's hooked up. But anyways, I started putting the fuel pump on. It's hard to see here, but um, let's see if we can see it now. Anyways, it's pinching against the block. I believe even if I was to get an elbow, it would probably do that. And I already got a Wix filter I bought with the uh, return on it. Just like this one, just it has the vent tube on it. I think I'll just put the, the one with the vent canister on here. It's that come factory, but I, just, I don't know why they put the, that on that side of the fuel pump. It just don't make no sense, but I'll pull it back off and pull that back out and try and find a plug to put in it. I was able to come up with the elbow, so I'm just going to run it like that. That way it don't hit the block. And I can walk into the store and buy regular Wix filter. These they normally have to order. The predicament I have run into now this fuel line look how close it is to the belt i didn't notice it until i put the the fuel fit line on there but i took this out of the factory factory filter i mean pump and i'm going to swap them out real quick all right well i went ahead and cut some new steel braided fuel line for that and i got the elbow on there for now and if 
it leaks, which it could because it was just acting funny when I wasn't putting it up. I'll put a plug in it, swap to this filter, but that'll be easy, easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up, make sure no leaks. And if it's good, we'll take it on test drive. Well, the last fitting started leaking right where the angle part was of the barb, I mean. So I went to the hardware store and got this. And when you thread it in there, it starts hitting right here. So I'm gonna have to trim about a quarter, probably about a quarter inch off that maybe. And then I'll use the, the barb I already cut down because I can almost get it to tighten up. It just, once you get it to um, so far, it hits and maybe I should, this thing wasn't exactly, you see the heck what I'm saying? So if this will work, I can have a return line and I'll be good and everything will be fine and dandy. Went ahead and put that fitting back on there. I thought it'll work great, I hope. I'll let this stuff tack out and put it on and hopefully it'll be good to go now. All right, the new fuel pump is back on again. This time with a little more clearance and it fits a little better. I mean, as long as it don't leak, we'll be good to go. Well, test out the fuel pump and it just died on me. So I'm gonna try and start it back up. Well, find out why it died. I mean, I thought about it. I got it cranked back and revved it up a little bit and took off. It's doing it again after it sits for a bit. And I've, all right, culprit is this fuel line's getting the kink right down there, having it turn like that. So I went and robbed one off my other fuel pump, off another one of my motors, on another angle. So I'm thinking that angle, if I screwed that into it, would be good. And I should be able to get that out of there. Not too bad, I hope and screw that new one in, well, new to the pump, and hopefully that'll fix us up. All right. Now, the angled piece is in the fuel pump, and I got it run back to the line, so it's not kinked, as y'all can see. So a slight little bow in it, and I think I'll be good. All right, so far, no leaks. I'm gonna call that good, I hope, and we're gonna test drive it one again. Well guys, um, it done it just a little bit, but not much at all. That definitely helped me a lot. Alright, now we're gonna take off from the stop now. It's actually completely warmed up. It does a little bit better. Does still does it at like full throttle if you're like in a low gear. I think it might be because of the rear end gear being a 269 from the factory. It really needs a 323, 342, and I think that would take it away. Or could be it needs an advance, which I got locked out right now. That might be why some people like an advance better, but. If you ask me, I would think an advance might would make it worse. Really, I'm not sure. But the fuel pump is definitely a success and did help our problems tremendously. And I needed one anyways. I think that other one was weak. And this one is a 80 gallons per hour at 6 PSI. The other one's 40 gallons an hour at 6 PSI. So I think it made a good difference. Uh, Thanks for watching as always, and don't forget to like and subscribe.